Bob likes to say, keep your umbrellas handy. <laughs> <laughs> and clean out those uh, gutters. That's right. <laughs> there's going to be some rain pretty, pretty soon around the area. In fact, some of it could be heavy. And even later tonight, there's another chance. 83 at the airport, still at 6 o'clock. It's still in the warm air down there. South, southwest winds at 10. That's going to pick up late tonight and during the day tomorrow. Very gusty winds in the region. Could see wind gusts maybe over 45 miles an hour. The barometer just beginning to fall to 9.56 inches. Still 71 Ocean City, 84, 74 in Alpes, 82 in D.C. Showers drop temperatures 73 in Frederick, 74 in Gaston, a cooler 57 in Oakland, 82 La Plata. South of us, still a good deal of the sunshine. They haven't seen much in the way of rain. In fact, the city, the Baltimore region, has only picked up about five hundredths of an inch of rain all day today. That's going to change shortly, though. 85, 68, that, that low <laughs> is one degree below our normal high for the date. This is so, this is really. Late June, early July conditions. 91, the record, 1974, 33 degrees. The record low, 1874. This morning's low, 68, and the normal low is now up to 47 degrees. All right, we're just in the last hour. We've had a batch of rain just developing right across the Baltimore, D.C. area, northern Virginia, and it's moving right for the area. So in the next 45 minutes, look at some downpours in the region, maybe some gusty winds. Then it clears out for a while. Then another batch, this is the actual cold front, definitely showing some very strong rain shower activity from Pittsburgh down to Wheeling, West Virginia. Behind it, it's getting windy and turning colder, but right now still not showing any lightning. Kind of remarkable, despite the fact that we had these warm conditions and we've got our frontal boundaries still not showing any lightning or thunder. Now that may change later tonight, definitely in between the rain right now and later on, maybe around 11, I think we'll see that second batch come through the area with perhaps some very gusty winds and some heavy rain too. All because of low pressure across northern Pennsylvania, heading up across New York State. It's dragging this front of boundary. So behind the front is where we're seeing all the showers from about just south of Buffalo, all the way down into Nashville, all through that area, scattered showers and some gusty winds and some thunder down to the south. The second front up across portions of Minnesota and Wisconsin, that's going to drag some colder air in, and the wind picks up tomorrow. Once that front comes through the area, we'll see those showers clear out by morning. Some clouds, however, develop in the afternoon. Maybe a brief shower Friday afternoon. Could even see a little, maybe some penny-sized hail in some showers tomorrow afternoon. As the winds become southerly on Sunday, we go back into the 80s once again. So we're going to go up and down this seven next, next several days. Shower and thunder clearing later on. 57 degrees by morning tomorrow. Very windy. Maybe a few showers possible. 69. That'll be early in the day. 68 on Saturday, a nice weekend, 84 on Sunday, 80, a few showers on Monday, back up to mid-80s Tuesday, 78, a few showers on Wednesday, and again, a chance of a shower, too, by next Thursday.